The Association of American Universities is a binational organization of leading research universities devoted to maintaining a strong system of academic research and education. It consists of 60 universities in the United States both public and private and two universities in Canada. Organization The AAU was founded in 1900 by a group of 14 Doctor of Philosophy degree granting universities in the United States to strengthen and standardize American doctoral programs. American universities starting with the Johns Hopkins University in 1876 were adopting the research intensive German model of higher education. Lack of standardization damaged European universities' opinions of their American counterparts, however, and many American students attended graduate school in Europe instead of staying in the U.S. The presidents of Johns Hopkins, the University of Chicago, Columbia University, Harvard University, and the University of California sent a letter of invitation to nine other universities to meet at Chicago in February 1900 to promote and raise standards. In 1914, the AAU began accrediting undergraduate education at its members and other schools. German universities used the AAU accepted list to determine whether a college's graduates were qualified for graduate programs. Regional accreditation agencies existed in the U.S. by the 1920s, and the AAU ended accrediting schools in 1948. The AAU is made up of universities of varying sizes and missions. Today, 62 universities in the U.S. and Canada are members and the primary purpose of the organization is to provide a forum for the development and implementation of institutional and national policies, in order to promote strong programs in academic research and scholarship and undergraduate, graduate, and professional education. Founding universities Johns Hopkins University University of Chicago Columbia University Harvard University University of California, Berkeley University of Michigan Cornell University Stanford University Princeton University University of Pennsylvania University of Wisconsin-Madison Yale University The Catholic University of America former member Clark University former member topic benefits the largest attraction of the AAU for many schools especially non-members is prestige for example in 2010 the chancellor of non-member North Carolina State University described it as the preeminent research intensive membership group to be a part of that organization as something NC State aspires to. A spokesman for nonmember University of Connecticut called it, perhaps the most elite organization in higher education. You'd probably be hard pressed to find a major research university that didn't want to be a member of the AAU. In 2012, the new elected Chancellor of University of Massachusetts Amherst, a non-member of AAU, reaffirmed the framework goal of elevating the campus to AAU standards which inspire them to become a member in the near future, and called it a distinctive status. Because of the lengthy and difficult entrance process, boards of trustees, state legislators, and donors often see membership as evidence of the quality of a university. The AAU acts as a lobbyist at its headquarters in the city of Washington, D.C., for research and higher education funding and for policy and regulatory issues affecting research universities. The association holds two meetings annually, both in Washington. Separate meetings are held for university presidents, provosts, and other officials. Because the meetings are private they offer the opportunity for discussion without media coverage. Prominent government officials, businessmen, and others often speak to the groups. Presidents Statistics As of 2004, AAU members accounted for 58% of U.S. universities' research grants and contract income and 52% of all doctorates awarded in the United States. Since 1999, 43% of all Nobel Prize winners and 74% of winners at U.S. institutions have been affiliated with an AAU university. 
Approximately two-thirds of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences 2006 class of fellows are affiliated with an AAU university. The faculties at AAU universities include 2,993 members of the United States National Academies 82% of all members, the National Academy of Sciences, the National Academy of Engineering, and the Institute of Medicine 2004. Undergraduate students, 1,044,759, 7% nationally Undergraduate degrees awarded, 235,328, 17% nationally Graduate students, 418,066, 20% nationally Master's degrees awarded, 106,971, 19% nationally Professional degrees awarded, 20,859, 25% nationally Doctorates awarded, 22,747, 52% nationally Postdoctoral fellows, 30,430, 67% nationally Students studying abroad, 57,205 National Merit – Achievement Scholars 5,434, 63% nationally Faculty – Approximately 72,000 Membership AAU membership is by invitation only, which requires an affirmative vote of three-fourths of current members. Invitations are considered periodically, based in part on an assessment of the breadth and quality of university programs of research and graduate education, as well as undergraduate education. The association ranks its members using four criteria, research spending, the percentage of faculty who are members of the National Academies, faculty awards, and citations. Two-thirds of members can vote to revoke membership for poor rankings. As of 2010 annual dues are $80,500. All 60 U.S. members of the AAU are also classified as Highest Research Activity R1 universities by the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education. Topic. Former members Catholic University of America 1900 departed as a result of "...institutional emphases and energies." That differed from the other AAU members. Clark University, 1900 to 1999, departed because of a shift in the AAU's emphasis to large research universities. University of Nebraska Lincoln, 1909 to 2011, removed from the AAU. Chancellor Harvey Perlman claimed that the lack of an on-campus medical school the medical center is a separate campus of the University of Nebraska system and the AAU's disregarding of USDA-funded agricultural research in its metrics hurt the university's performance in the association's internal ranking system. Syracuse University 1966 because of a dispute over how to count nonfederal grants, Syracuse voluntarily withdrew from the AAU in 2011. The Chronicle of Higher Education reported that after it became clear that Syracuse wouldn't meet the association's revised membership criteria, university officials decided that they would leave the organization voluntarily, rather than face a vote like Nebraska's, and notified the leadership of their intentions. <laughs> Map of schools <laughs> Advocacy. In 2014, the AAU supported the proposed Research and Development Efficiency Act arguing that the legislation can lead to a long-needed reduction in the regulatory burden currently imposed on universities and their faculty members who conduct research on behalf of the federal government. According to the AAU, too often federal requirements for accounting for federal grant money are ill-conceived, ineffective, and or duplicative. Quote, this wastes the researchers' times and reduces the time they can devote to discovery and innovation and increases institutional compliance costs. AAU institutions are frequently involved in U.S. science policy debates. In 2008, AAU Vice President for Policy, Tobin Smith, co authored a textbook on U.S. science policy. See also List of higher education associations and alliances 
Topic Notes Topic References Topic External Links Official Website